Hello, friend, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sika, and today we are going to talk about sketchbooks. When you clicked on this video, you might ask, why would I need a guide on how to use a sketchbook? My friend, you probably don't. But I have some tips on how to have the best time with your sketchbook. And maybe you can learn something or use this guide for your own sketchbook. Before we get started, let's talk about my own sketchbook journey. I started using my first sketchbook about 8 years ago and I'm currently on my 14th sketchbook. I really got into using sketchbooks 4 to 5 years ago when I was in art school. And I've had my fair shares of mistakes and abandonments, but also the best times. So, let's get started! You may ask yourself, why would you even use a sketchbook in the first place? I have all this paper and my digital drawing tablet, and of course, that is all valid. But for loose paper, I like to have my sketches and drawings in one place, so I can see my progress I have made. And I take my sketchbooks everywhere, so I can study and draw wherever I go. And loose paper would be very annoying to carry around in a bag or a backpack. For drawing tablets, I myself use an iPad, which is very portable. Since I have it, I am finally drawing a lot digitally. Before, I was not really trying, but to be honest, whenever I use my iPad, I'm always trying to make super polished and finished art pieces that take hours and not really fast and quick sketches to study that may take 10 to 30 seconds and it is less satisfying to flip through in my opinion. My sketchbook is here to be ugly, to try out new ideas, to study, to make concepts and even one or two finished artworks. I also use it for writing sometimes, abstract art, playing around with media I have not used yet and want to get comfortable using, before using it on my expensive good paper for my more finished pieces. And this is why I use a sketchbook. Like I mentioned in my art blog video, link is in the i card, you need a place to study to become better, that is for your eyes only where you are allowed to be messy and be really bad at art. A place that is 100% yourself in all the good and bad angles. And for me, a sketchbook is the perfect place to do so. As you can see, I have tried sketchbooks in all sizes with different price points. From extra cheap to more on the expensive side. But I personally would never spend more than 35 euros on a sketchbook, but that's just me. I have used many sizes and different papers, abandoned a few, but filled up most of my sketchbooks. So I have this satisfying part of my shelf that is full of the rainbow of my sketchbooks. Of course, we all have our different needs. Do you prefer smooth paper or some with texture? Do you paint on the go or want to paint in your sketchbook or do you prefer using markers? Do you solely want to draw with a pen? What kind of pen? Does it have ink or is it just a simple biro? Over the years my needs changed. A few years ago I preferred sketchbooks on the smaller side. Now I tend to use bigger ones because I like to get the most out of my box. It has to be big enough to have a lot of space to fit more than one drawing, but small enough so it fits into most of my bags and is not too heavy. My rule of thumb is try to touch the paper and if you like the feel, you will probably like drawing on it. And if you already hate the touch of the paper, then I think you won't enjoy drawing or painting in it either. I personally like sketchbooks that have not too many pages, so I don't feel intimidated. I like A4 or square sizes that lean on the bigger side. I prefer smooth paper over one with texture, because my main media in my sketchbook are my colored pencils, which in my opinion look best on smoother papers. I try to buy mixed media sketchbooks because I am a mixed media artist. 
I prefer ivory colored paper, but it is not a no-go for me to use a pure white paper. Perfect bound or glued is not for me. And I don't care if it is a soft cover or a hard cover sketchbook, most of the time it is wrecked and ruined in the end anyways, from all the carrying in my bags. And it should not be too expensive, because I don't want to be too precious with them. And the more money I spend on them, the easier it gets to not want to ruin it. I guess it seems obvious, but I really want to tell you how I use my sketchbooks. First of all, in my sketchbooks, I try to be authentic and 100% me. That's the whole fun for me. So whenever something comes to my mind, like here I saw a cute dog and wanted to draw Pomeranians, so I did. But okay, what can you do exactly with your sketchbook? You can study something that you don't understand. Hands, feet, shoes, the human figure, cats, airplanes. The options are endless. Studying can be fun and in a sketchbook you don't have the pressure to make it perfect. I like to set timers for 30 seconds or 5 minutes for one figure drawing and I just try my best. You can figure out concepts. I like to do that a lot. Ideas for my bigger paintings, ideas for products or even a big project. Thumbnails for comics, sketching many versions of one character until you find a version you highly enjoy. You can do finished art pieces. I sometimes do that, but I don't recommend that, especially for people who get art blocked easily because then you want every page to look like that and that is simply not sustainable in my opinion. I would get burned out if I tried to make every page pretty. I love my not so cute pages sometimes even more than the finished ones. You can use it as a journal or at least treat it like one. I do the latter. I always try to document when I go somewhere the things that stand out to me or are beautiful to me. Tasty food from a trip I took, the cute fruit bowl arrangement in the window of a shop, flowers from the flower shop next door. You will start to see the world differently, in a more artistic way, and explore things you maybe won't even have noticed if you would not have looked around for your art. I think this is the most fun and makes a sketchbook truly you and unique. So that's it! This is my ultimate guide on how to use a sketchbook. What are your tips? Tell me in the comments down below. And if you have watched until this point, comment your favorite fruit. Mine are strawberries, grapes and mangoes. Thank you friend for watching. Like, comment and subscribe. And bussi baba!